Hey, grumpy old man here. Um, I already filmed this once, but somehow the video got glitched, so I'm going to try it again. This is the Dehumi, um, what's it called, sleeping mat thing. Um, it's got instruction sleeping pad, excuse me. I got this uh, because I'm doing a trip this June in Ohio. Uh, it also has the repair kit. Um, so hopefully I don't ever have to use this, but the way it feels from the first time I took it out, um, I don't know that I won't. Um, it's, it's not that it feels cheap. It just, it's thinner. Um, so uh, it's, it's got a valve somewhere. So when you're inflating it, you have to close this. Now this is also an inflation port. Um, so you got to close that too, but, um, I don't think it would really matter if you're inflating because it's got that one-way valve on it. Uh, then, let's see if my dog's going to let me have this video in peace. Um, I'm going to pop this open. This is the little foot compression thing. Um, now, on an advertisement, it says it will inflate in 20... I think it's like 25 seconds or 20, yeah, I think 25 seconds or 23 seconds, something like that. Um, when I did it the first time, it took me about a minute and a half, a uh, minute 36, something like that. So we're going to do it. Uh, by the way, I don't understand if you're compressing this on ground at like domestic campsites, I totally get it, but on like rough camp. Um, I'm not real sure you wouldn't get a puncture from it, but this is a very safe place, so. Sorry, see, it doesn't need your help. how they do it in 25 seconds um, must be someone who's far more foot skilled than me um, although I have to say doing it this time it sounds like it's leaking at that end but it's not um, it's the connection between the big pillow thing um, and this kind of squeaks Little bit. Now, you do have to inflate it pretty tight. Um, otherwise, the second you touch it, you're going straight to the ground. Now, uh, it feels like it's going to be hard as a rock, but it's not. Um, when you get down like this, your knees go straight to the ground, um, but not meant for kneeling, so that's fair. Um, you lay on it. it Darcy. Um, <laughs> okay. Truthfully, with our mess around, if it doesn't puncture, it may not be so easy to puncture. Okay. It's got a little groove right here um, that if you rest your head in it just right it's actually pretty comfortable um, if you're a back sleeper it'll be wonderful I'm not so I'm a belly sleeper ow that was my elbow straight to the ground um, so I'm not sure how comfortable that's going to be um, it is quite long um, well, it's just not as long as I thought it would be. Um, I'm five foot five. 
I'm today 185 pounds, so a bit on the chunky side. Um, but it fits me quite well. Gosh, you know, when I looked at the measurements on this, I thought it said it was like 75 inches long, but there's no way that's true. Um, huh. This was supposed to be really long. I thought it'd be longer than this. So if you're a long person, aka tall, which I'm not, this, I'm not sure this would be great for you. Um, <laughs> I love you too, baby. Um, yeah. I, uh, so, I'm not sure that's the best. Um, yeah, I will say this, if you have your foot sideways like this, without clogging the hole, um, it does inflate much faster. Um, I was just going like straight on instead of like across the whole thing. Uh, and thinking about it, that makes sense. Now, this is where it's impressive. When it's time to deflate, oh, wrong one. It it deflates with a quickness. Now, per the instructions, you are supposed to roll it this way uh, from the pump to the head. Um, it has snaps along each side so that you can actually join multiple of these together. Um, there's pretty much no limit to that because they'll all have snaps and they'll all link together. Um, but oh, it does kind of fold in. Um, it's not super cooperative with this process, um, but you know, because it's got air in it. Air wants to stay where air is. Um, again, this is a really, you know, smooth surface. Um, so I'm not kind of holding the puncture resistance in high esteem until I can get this bad boy out and camp somewhere. Um, so, uh, One of our neighbor dogs has barked, which has piqued my dog's interest. She is what you'd say is always ready for a fight. Not because she's a mean dog or anything, she's a sweetheart, great with kids, but she's not, not what you call socialized. Right, so press all this air out, plug it, and plug it. And now, in other reviews, I've heard people say that you know the bag is useless; it won't fit back in. That kind of stuff. As you can see. Quite useful. It fits in just fine. Um, so, and it is incredibly light. I mean, it's it's amazing. I'm hoping that doesn't mean that it's also incredibly light on durability. But the Humi, um, I like it. Needed a new one. I don't need it, but my old ones are getting kind of difficult to use because they're not self-inflating the way they used to. Um, so they're not as good for camping as they were. Anyways, so far, so good. You know, it sets up easy. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. You can actually inflate it a couple different ways. Um, the foot pump works. I've heard people say that they use their hand instead, which I think might be smart if it's a rocky place or somewhere with lots of pokey things, but 
Yeah, so that's it. I'll do a review later after I've used it this summer. Uh, or if I get to use it before that.